my name is Adam and welcome to a tutorial livery of a Japanese police car for the ER34 Skyline game which is one of the newest cars that have been released. So let's sweep out the Google images. I already have the color scheme planned out, dark grey rims and white paint that's already done so let's get on with the livery shall we? So what you want to start off is the sides, the black sides. So you get a black square. You sort of make it fit, so it will be nice and flush with the line. It must be parallel with this line over here. That way it will go nicely with the body. You press Y, so it's visible on both sides. You press 1 again to exit this weird mode. G to change color and make it black. There we go, that's the first part done. So what I like to do now is duplicate the sticker, right click move it to the rear, and let's find another picture that actually shows the rear. There we go. So something like that. So that means I need, we need to take that and make it smaller. Alright, because there is this tiny section that we need to fill here. There we go. And now for the front. Okay, so the front is all black, but we just need to have this one thing. Also, this needs to go a bit taller since it starts off with the bumper, it must be flush with the bumper. Alright, that's flush. We can of course paint the headlights, but I'm not sure if I really should do that or should I keep the headlights stock, like without the eyelids. I'm just gonna paint the eyelids black then. We're gonna see how that turns out. And to paint the eyelids black, I see that it's sort of flat-ish angle, I'm just gonna go for something like this that matches it. For smaller parts I like to use my arrow keys and sort of press X, duplicate, duplicate, and just duplicate the sticker a lot because then it's then you are 100% sure that it's completely covered and to be honest that actually does not look that bad. Some people find it ricey, but many people hold it different, isn't it? So now for this weird sort of thingy. To be honest I don't know what to use for that. Let's just try to use this one. This one seems like it could work the best. There we go, it goes, it's a bit smaller, so yeah, I just kind of need to play with it. Boom, there we go. Easy clap. And I believe there are also like five tiny squares on the bonnet, or four. No, it's just this tiny window thingy. Alright, so let's make a little mount for it. So let's rotate them up. Oh, there we go. So now there needs to be those two red dots on the front. So let's get to this section. Let's select that part. Make it tiny. Put it there. Double it. Change the color of layer 2 to white. That's how we do it. And now we need a badge on the front. I don't know if you can fit a badge. If we can fit a badge, that's alright. And if we can't, that's alright as well. So let's select the one thing that looks like most like a badge. And it actually sort of fits, so let's go with it. After painting it gold, that sort of looks like it. And sort of not. I don't really care. So it's no point a side view. 
All right, that's a side view. So now we just need some Japanese characters. Boy, oh boy, this is gonna go so bad. Because that's not the signs I'm looking for. And neither are these. So I'm thinking about uh, just writing random shit on the side of the camp. Because I had literally no fucking clue what uh, to write. So I believe in here there were some. Yeah. So I'm gonna take that one. There we go. I'm also gonna take this one. And I believe there was also a thing here. And on the rear, I believe it said skyline. Yeah, it's a skyline. And there are no other markings other than the top. And the top siren, which I don't know if it's a good idea to recreate, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because why the fuck not? So the front siren on the Japanese police car looks sort of like that, so to make it, or to make it go perfectly in the middle, I like to do something like that. So that way you'll know where is the middle. Now we can play with it and extend it all the way. There we go. So now we can turn off the double set view and change the color of player 2 to black. And that is how you make a Japanese police car on the Nissan Skyline ER34 in BMG Drive. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the slavery and see you guys next time. So there are a few important things I want to say. Mainly I want to promote some people out because those people are very nice people and some people of them help me a lot and I just want to promote that. So the first person I want to shout out or give a big up to is uh, Smokey Wolf. He's a very nice person, he streams daily, he makes daily videos. He's an, he seems like a very amazing person and I'm soon gonna be filming some videos with him. That's the idea anyways. Uh, the next channel I want to pick up is uh, pick up to Nine for Rental Club, which is my my club. I'm proud to be there since 2019 or yeah, since 2019. And then we have JC Ersol, which is my Ersol team. It's uh, sort of the RL thing I do, because I play Ersol. Uh, many people didn't know that. Uh, here I'm actually on the thumbnail and here is me making a noisemaker. So subscribe to those three channels if you really want to support me, support the people who inspire me, support people who help me. And yeah, see you guys in the next video very soon.